Hey, I'm Pam. Uh, let's talk about some Grisanias today. Oh, that's cool. These are Grisania. You might call them corn plants or many different things because there's lots of different ones with these. These are still pretty young. So they're just now beginning to turn into the tree like shape that it will eventually get. Um, and it was, seemed a lot smaller until recently. It was like suddenly it's getting some height. I did move them all recently. I think that they're liking it. The basic care for these is going to be decent ambient light is generally okay for them. Uh, I mean a little bit more is always better, but um, they're pretty happy in most medium light. Uh, you can get away with even fairly lowish light. Lowish means you know, still pretty wide in there. I only water them when they are very dry. They are susceptible to root rot. And we know I like to give plants root rot. So I definitely err on the side of underwatering with these. I judge them by weight. This is super dry right now. I know that it's thirsty. I haven't watered these for about three weeks, which, you know, they're very flexible and I appreciate that very much. And that is why you see them in offices all over the place because they really are very easy and quite lovely. And I'm, I've poked myself like three times right in the eye already today. Anyway, now the downside on these is that they are water demons. They don't like tap water. Mine don't even really like uh, filtered very much. Mine like bottled spring water. I was actually paying for water service at the office just so I could, you know, water these guys. If you have one that is covered in brown tips, that's probably one. That is the number one reason that these guys get brown tips, in my opinion. You can also get brown tips if it's too dry, keep in mind. But if it's just a constant kind of browning and not dying, per se, yeah, it doesn't like the water that you're giving it. Give it something bougie. They love the rainwater. Oh, that's the difference. That's the difference. They were at my office and now they're here and the light isn't really any different except now they're getting rainwater with warm shit in it. Light bulb. If you do have the, the brown tips on here though, it is totally fine to yeah, this one has some brown tips. I think it got watered with tap one time. I had some issues, obviously. Here, they got really, really dry. They were severely underwater for a while. They tend to be the one that I neglect the most because they came. So once in a while, it just gets too, too long even for this guy. And he'll pop out of some brown spots down there, which eventually will grow. I don't look kind of dumb, but whatever. I could not tell you what kind these are. Maybe a lemon lime? This one's like a turbinado or something. I actually liked it a lot better when it was little. Like it looked like a little tornado and now it just looks like a weird, I don't, I don't know. It's really tiny, I don't know. I mean, they're not all my favorite. This one's name is Cutie because he's my son's. And by he's my son's, I mean he named it and I have done literally this one's actually my favorite. It's just darker greens rather than the, the bright. Plus, I don't really have many problems with bugs with these, so they're pretty easy care. They appreciate a wipe down on the leaves every now and then, but other than that, pretty low maintenance. I don't even need to repot them very often. I don't believe that these are animal safe. Okay, there we go, short and sweet. Saying, yeah, great house plant, great office plant, great office plant. If you've got a favorite kind, I would love to hear it. Drop it in the comments and I will talk to you all soon.